Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Supernatural. Last episode that we watched was after school special and I got a little bit emotional purely because it involved bullies and school bullies and how it led basically to somebody killing themselves. Well, I think it was the, the suicide part in particular that got to me and just Sam dealing with the fact that he had a friend and he left that friend, not obviously intentionally, and that friend was alone and bullied and ended up killing himself and it was just a trigger for school bullies but it usually is with me as you'll know if you've watched much of my channel but I really enjoyed the episode I liked the fact that it had like half of it was in like flashbacks half of it was in current time as they investigated the ghost possessions in the school and how they both linked to their experience at that school in the past and how we also saw Sam and Dean kind of flip roles like Dean started as like the charmer popular with girls really kind of smooth cool guy so to speak not that I think someone that goes into school and just like I don't need books, it was cool, I, I don't think that at all, but I, I, Sam was kind of like the younger, quieter one, even though he did give that bully like a death stare at the beginning, which was great, and yeah, they flipped roles throughout the episode where at the end, Sam was like lauded as this great guy because he beat the bully up or got the bully, bully back at his own game, and Dean found out for being like a bit of a ladies man, and so they turned against him. Now what I forgot to talk about at the end of the last episode, I should have mentioned it briefly, is it was interesting to see Sam's guilt over his part in this bully's life's downward spiral. Yeah, he was a bully. Sam bullied him back. And then that guy became a bullied. And his life kind of spiraled from there. And it's not Sam's fault. At the end of the day, kids are kids. Kids shouldn't have called him Dirk the Jerk and other things that went on in his life. Like, it's, there's not one factor. Obviously, Sam was a part of that journey. And you could see the guilt in his eyes. And I felt really awful for him. That was really sad. So hopefully this episode's going to be a little bit brighter or scary, or just not as emotionally devastating. So it's called, so it's episode 14 and it's called Sex and Violence. So I'm thinking maybe a demon that has sex with you and then kills you, or it possesses people, they have sex with you and then they kill you. Or it's just something to do with aggressive sex, I don't really know. Um, obviously sex and violence means it's got to be, those two things are going to be a huge factor in the episode, so let's jump into it, let's find out what it's about. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of my reaction and subscribe to my channel or take a look at the Patreon link down below for the full -length reaction to this episode and if you're watching on YouTube, the next few episodes in advance. Now let's jump into season 4, episode 14, 13, 14, we're in 14 already, 14, sex and violence, let's go. Well, it's an episode about sex and someone's already beaten some meat. <laughs> I apologise. What? He doesn't look happy at all. Ted's kind of cracking the whip, isn't he? I think I like him. Oh, I... I'm working my ass off. Okay. Sorry. She didn't, like, no, have I'm a go sorry. at him. You like Gary. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I want to waste my Saturday night with him. I thought you'd want to go. Is he possessed? I don't believe you. What's with you tonight? It's like you want oh, to God. have a fight or something. I don't like that. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Oh, very smooth. Like, if you want to hide something, why would you not go somewhere else? Okay, I will keep looking. You keep looking too, okay? Yay, Jim Beaver. Right. <laughs> You're up early. What are you doing? Nothing. I was in the can. Yeah? More lies. Yeah. What is it with the brothers and all the lies? Oh, Pat. Why? In Bedford, Iowa, guy beat his wife's brains out with a meat tenderizer. Yikes. Now, get this. Third local inside two months to gank his wife. I killed my wife. And you want to know why? Because she made plans without asking me. Now, what happened? How did you feel? Disoriented and out of control? Like something possessed you to do it? I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm -hmm. That was crystal clear. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, like dropping plastic at a nudie bar, for instance. But we just oh. want to know the truth, Mr. Benson. Her name was Lola. Jasmine. She was a showgirl. She was a stripper. Dude, her name was Jasmine. I didn't mean for it to happen. I, I don't okay. like to go 
to strip bars when my buddy was having a bachelor party. I just and couldn't help myself. I just fell into her over and over she and over came again. Right up to me, and I, I, I don't know. She was just. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Um, Special Agent Styles, FBI. You're Dr. Kara Roberts. Styles, like Harry Styles. You work with the Sheriff's Department. Yeah, when I'm not slogging it through the ER. Autopsies for the wives and talk screens for the perps. Two for one special. You find anything? Not really. I mean, COD and the women was pretty clear. And I remember thinking how strange it was that it showed up. In all three of Normally them, in the blood work. then what showed up? Oxytocin. And their levels were crazy high. Uh, oxytocin? Mm hmm It's a uh, hormone that's produced during childbirth, lactation... I thought so. ...and sex. Yeah, that's what I've heard oxytocin before. Okay. People call it the love hormone. Um, you know how it feels when you first fall in love? Like a love spell? ...and the knees tattoo you on my chest I said love spell. That's oxytocin. The agent sounds so formal. You can call me Dean. I'm Dr. Roberts. So, um, <laughs> can I help you with anything else? Uh, sure, just one more thing. This chemical, this, Oxytocin. Uh, oxytocin. Uh, what would cause those high flowers. levels Flowers. That? That's a weird shot, those flowers. Nothing that I've ever seen. I'm suspicious of you, Doctor. These guys have affairs, too, with a stripper also known as Jasmine? Yes, uh, no. This is where it gets interesting. Each guy hooked up with a different chick. So, a shapeshifter? Somehow? Well, they all described their stripper in the same way, the exact same way. Perfect and everything that they wanted. Huh. Yeah, at least till Dream Barber convinced them to murder their wives. There's that. Or one you know, person it's that... Like they were in some kind of love spell. It sure seems that way. So which caused that? them to become totally psychotic. Absolutely. So, me and you. So, yeah. Uh, I just talked to Bobby. We officially have a theory. What's that? Siren. Like, Green uh... Siren. The Odyssey? Hey, I read. Yeah, actually. But the Siren's not actually a myth. It's more of a... Beautiful creatures that prey on men. Siren, that's new. Most guys would have put her in a nursing home. Maybe not this guy, it's though. Deal. She's my mom. Like I said. Amazing. Poor guy. He's gonna kill his mom as well. She's sick. Oh god. Well that's not pretty. No offense, love, but I wouldn't want that on top of me. <laughs> if only your mom wasn't here. Don't you want to be with me forever? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you know I do. Oh dear. Hey Sam. Sam? You there? Is that a blackberry? Do they still sell blackberries? Cause I used to have one of them. Years and years ago, with the little slidey thing in the middle. Siren Vic. It says you need a bronze dagger covered in the blood of a sailor under the spell of the song. What the hell does that mean? Sure. That mean we're dealing with three thousand years of the telephone game here. Best guess? Well, the siren spell ain't got nothing to do with any song. It's most likely some kind of toxin or venom. Something she gets in the Vic's blood. Flower. For all Manchurian candidate. Excuse me, uh, we're a little busy here, buddy. Yeah, so am I, pal. <laughs> Doc, could you give us a sec, please? Sure. Hey, call our AD, he'll sort things out, huh? Is that gonna be Bobby? Gonna have like loads of different phones or something, or? You could have fooled me. Last time I checked, son, DC has jurisdiction. Or am I wrong? Uh, no, sir. Well, good. Well, the next time you want to waste my time with stupid questions, don't. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. 
Love that. Love that. I love Bobby so much. Uh, no way. You driving Impala? Yeah. It's a 67, right? It's a 327 four barrel. Yeah, actually. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Thanks. Should you not be using gloves? What the hell? What? The blood's gone. The agent! Maybe the agent's at a siren. FBI agent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to the crime scene this morning. Yeah. I saw him bagging this up. So I went back. Power uh, petals. It turns out Power flower petals. just like that was found at every crime scene. Like it was left on purpose. Like at the doctor's office. For instance, I have been thinking about you all night. Well, parts of you. Just parts. Mm hmm. I'm left to my own heart, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're very distracting. What the hell, huh? <laughs> not gonna lie, the way that you looked at then was very sexy. Hello. That shell of Sam, always a good thing, even if it is with the siren. But hey, your girlfriend Ruby's not gonna be choppy about the situation, is she? You're kidding me. Look, I just don't think it's her. And hey, what makes you so sure? <laughs> I don't know. A, a hunch. A hunch? I'm giving you cold hard facts. He's here. Give under me a hunch. her spell. Did you sleep with her? No. Stop lying, Sam. Holy crap, you did. <laughs> Middle of basic instinct and you bang Sharon Stone? Sam, you could be under her spell right now. Dude, I'm not under her spell. But you wouldn't. Really? No. I just don't get it. What? Nothing. No, say it. No, it's just, I, first it's Madison, and then Ruby, and now Kara. It's like, what is with you and banging monsters? Suck Dina. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's not Kara. Uh, I feel demon fine. blood. I'll bet you do. But I have my reasons, and they're good ones, so you just gotta have to trust me on them. Yep. Yeah, okay. I guess. Pardon me? Thank you. That's actually nice to hear. <laughs> Could be injecting them, you know, or passing the toxin through uh, through physical contact. Or it could be her saliva. <gasps> you really should have wiped the lip of that thing before you drank from it. I should be your little brother, Sam. <laughs> you can't trust him. Not like you can trust me. In fact, oh, that looks grotesque. I feel like you should get him out of the way. Uh-oh. Time to fight. No, I gave him what he needed. And it wasn't some bitch in a G-string. It was you. A little brother that looked up to him. That he could trust. Oh dear. And now he loves me. Um... Yeah. I didn't lie, lie yet. It's not the demon blood or the psychic crap. It's the little stuff. The lies. The secrets. Yeah. What secrets? The phone calls are Ruby for one. So I need your say so to make a phone call? That's the point. You're hiding things from me. You want to know why I didn't tell you about Ruby? And how we're hunting down Lilith? Because you're too weak to go after her, Dean. You're holding me back. Shit. I'm a better hunter than you are. Stronger. Smarter. You're too busy sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Whining about all the souls you tortured in hell. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna feel a little guilty once this is over. This spell thing. Toxin. Tell me again how weak I am, Sam, huh? How I hold you back. Bobby! Uh, Bobby! 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 
Puppy. I want to marry Puppy. He's so cool. Everyone bangs on about Castiel. Bobby's a real MVP, at least at this point in the show. You know, those sirens are nasty things. That it got to you. There's no reason to feel bad. Mm. Is that some pretty hurtful stuff? You gonna say goodbye to Kara? Nah, not interested. Hush. Really, why not? What's the point? Politeness. Well, look at you. Love them and leave them. I miss old Sam. He would have gone after her and gave her a cuddle. Back there, right? That it was just the siren spell talking? Of course, me too. Okay. So, so we're good? Yeah, we're good. Doesn't feel like we're good, though, does it? Because, as usual, the walls have come up. <laughs> These two just need their heads bonking together. Okay, that was my reaction to season four, episode 14, Sex and Violence. And I enjoyed that one. That was good. That was a classic supernatural monster of the week story. We start with a cold open, something bad happens, and over the course of the episode, we see a couple more of the same sort of bad things happening, and we discover monsters behind it. We stop that monster. Along the way, we have some few emotional chats about life and love and loss and the world we will live in and how hard things are and over an emotional end when the boys sort things out bobby saves the day and the walls come back up and they don't tell each other the truth about something so you know typical standard monster of the week supernatural story but i had a good time with that one that was good and for once i was wrong i'm quite happy with that i like being wrong so i thought as soon as you saw that plant it was the doctor and then i thought Maybe that was too obvious, but all the signs pointed towards the Doctor being the siren. And then when the agent brought out the petals, I was like, I was right. Oh my god, I'm always right. And it's, I'm so smart. <laughs> but no, I actually like being wrong. Cause I, I had a genuine, like, <gasps> when he said about the saliva and they were passing the, um, the flask back to each other in the car, that generally made me, like, gasp, I think. I, I either internally gasp or outwardly gasp, I can't remember. Uh, I'll see when it edits it back, but... I enjoyed that moment because like, it is fun guessing and being right sometimes. But I like it when I'm wrong because I like the surprise. And yeah, so she wasn't involved at all. She was just a kinky doctor that was sleeping with an FBI agent in her room, in a laboratory, which is pretty unhygienic for one. But also there was like windows all the way around. She didn't even close the blinds, so she's just dangerous and kinky. But for Jared, I approve this message. But yeah, I was so glad that I was wrong because that was a good little twist. I enjoyed that. The siren itself was interesting because it was nice to see something new that we haven't seen before. It's not another demon, another ghost. And don't get me wrong, I know we're going to have thousands more demons and ghosts before the show's over. But it was nice to see something new, a siren. And good God, they're ugly. Not to be rude about it, but they're ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> Those sirens. And it was interesting how it made you... He obviously had sex with you by making you see something that you always wanted to see, the perfect version of, most of the time it was women, but obviously with Dean it was like the perfect brother role, almost, and how it got into your ear and made you do bad things. Now, it was just really awful, like, the, innocent, the ones that died in this case were innocent people. Like, a lot of times in the story you would see in things like X-Files or Buffy, or I don't know of that exact episodes of shows, I'm just thinking as examples. That if someone was cheating with a monster, the monster would usually kill that person. And you're like, well, they were cheating anyway, so I don't feel too bad. But this one, the innocent people were the ones that died. So, for example, the guy at the beginning was cheating on his wife with a stripper. And she's the one that got killed, beaten to death with a mallet. Like, the youngish guy who was having sex with the stripper. And he, she made him kill his ill mother. Like I felt so awful, because they're the ones that were getting hurt with the innocent people. Especially that guy, because he wasn't cheating anybody. He was just, he turned into a shy guy. He went to a strip club, possibly to get laid. I don't, I don't really know. Um, and had sex with a stripper, and then she made him beat him, his mother to death with a fire poker. So I just felt really awful for him, but it was an interesting take on the Monster of the Week stories that it wasn't like just the people that would do the bad thing that would normally get killed off. They were actually the ones that were staying alive and dealing with the fallout of the fact that they killed their loved ones and. That was good. It was really great to see Bobby save the day. Like, Bobby's so cool. So cool. 
whether he's just kiss, uh, cooking in his apron and he's got all those phones on the walls, which was a really cool little idea, good little thing that they've um, put in because it's obviously all right they're flashing the badges all the time, but you've got to think every now and again someone's going to check up on them. So it makes sense that he's got all these phones. That was awesome. But then when he saved the day at that end, I'm like, oh, it wasn't even just that he appeared at the right moment, but he like stabbed Sam with the... Uh, uh, Sam Ward and Dean, what was it Sam? I think it was Sam, with the dagger and then like, she threw it into that st- siren's back Bobby, you the man you are the best and love you so cool, but yeah this was a good episode I don't have a lot to say because it was quite, a gen- it was just a monster of the week episode and I guess the thing to talk about briefly is when the siren had got Sam and Dean, the things that they were open about with each other, and the annoying thing is I think everything they're thinking is not necessarily right but at least they're talking about stuff under the siren spell that they should talk about normally. Like, they should talk about what happened with Dean down in hell. They should talk about the fact that he killed people or tortured people. They should talk about the fact that he enjoyed it. They should talk about the fact that Sam's sneaking around. They should talk about the fact that Sam's sneaking around with Ruby. But they don't. They just keep keeping secrets from each other. And they get... Sam was getting his high horse about you keep... No. Dean was getting his high horse saying that you're keeping secrets, blah, blah, blah. Like, what? Dean was keeping secrets as well. They're both as bad as each other. The, none of them are right in the situation. And it's so frustrating. And I guess I say it every time in comments and on episodes. I know this is something I was going to get used to. Because I'm sure this is going to happen hundreds more times over the course of the show. But they just never learn that keeping secrets doesn't end well. And then it comes out in these like possessed things or supernatural things or like a siren spell. It comes out that they have all this anger and things they want to say and they don't. And then the spell's over. And every now and again, yeah, the other spell will be over or the monster will go or the possession will stop or whatever. And they'll have a little heart to heart and talk about it. But like sometimes it's like this where they just go, no, nothing to talk about. Like, for God's sake, boys. Like, I'm not the most emotionally stable person in the world. But even I know for a fact. It's like a little roundabout, merry-go-round of lies and it just ends with someone falling off and getting hurt. And it's so annoying. <laughs> But I enjoyed the episode, it was good. It wasn't like the most memorable episode. Blah, 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 blah. It wasn't the most memorable episode of the TV show, but I had a good time with it. It was a really fun Monster of the Week. That, did, that had a little bit of a tie into the ongoing stuff with uh, the Sam and Dean fight and the Ruby calls and that, but yeah, that was good. Good to see Bobby back kicking ass. Let me know down below what you thought of Season 4, Episode 14, Sex and Violence. If you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. As always, my name is Scott. I hope you guys are well. Taking care of yourselves and staying safe. If you enjoyed the video, leave some comments down below. Subscribe to my channel for the rest of Series 4. I'll see you all very soon for the next episode of Series 4 of Supernatural. Bye guys. Take care and stay safe.